I've got quite a lot of this satin rat tail. It comes in lots of different pretty colours. I've even got some rainbowish colours. I'm going to do an experiment to see if I can make some resin jewellery out of it using pendant mould here and also this ring mould. Now what I'm going to do first is soak some of this into UV resin so that I can get the shapes that I want to make and then put those into here. I've cut all my pieces to size and what I want to do first is check to see that this is colour fast. I've got a little pot, putting this in here, I'm going to squeeze some UV resin over it. Now there's nowhere in this room that light comes in anyway, so it won't cure up until I turn on the UV resin. I'm going to use my big bottle because you can buy the J-Diction UV resin in some large bottles and it saves you quite a lot of money. I will link that larger bottle in the description below as well as the smaller bottle. Definitely, without a doubt, the best UV resin. Now, this is going to make this a little bit darker. There is no doubt about it because it's going to make it look like it's wet. Give that a good mix in. Now, there's going to produce quite a few bubbles and there's going to be air in this rattan or this silk rat tail. But I want to make sure it's all fully coated. It doesn't look like the colour's coming out of it, which is great. And now I'm going to leave that in there to soak up that resin for a couple a minute before I attempt to use it. I'm going to cover it with a bit of paper to ensure that if there is any stray light in here it's not going to cure up in that position because who wants that? Well we might look nice. Well that's been now soaking for about three minutes and it hasn't run or anything and it's nice and soaked. All I'm doing is running it now between my fingers to get any excess off because I don't want the loads of excess resin in there. Move that out the way and then I can either start to shape it on the mat or I can start to shape it in my hands first before I go ahead and cure it. I could even shape it straight away in the moulds themselves. I think that would work quite well. Reminds me of licorice we had as a kid. I've cut it off now. I've got it to the length that I think is all right for this one. You definitely want to be wearing gloves for this as well. You don't want to be running this all through your hands. This one's going to go into here. I've done a circle. That is probably big enough. I'm going to cut that off there using my scissors. Pop that out of the way. Encourage that to lay as flat as possible onto there. If it doesn't want to lay flat, I can just use another little bit of the UV resin. I'm going to put the lamp over the top and give that a cure up. Well, that's cured up now. You can feel that is quite hard. And what I'm going to use is some of these little gems that I've got with my nail art in the middle there. Now, you could put more all the way around the edge if you wanted to. And I think I might do that. And how I'll do that is by putting a little bit of UV resin all the way around here, like this. And then I can add my little gems, one at a time, into that. And now I'm going to cure that up again. Well, that's all cured up now. And what I could do is I could either fill this up with UV resin, which I'm going to do here. Or I could fill it up with epoxy resin and put it in my two-hour curing machine. Either way, I think these are going to cure up really quick. Quick go over that with a lighter just to get rid of any bubbles that are there. Although I think the bubbles may look really pretty in this. And then cure that up. And while that's curing up, what I'm going to do is soak some of my other rattan. Now I know that it's colour fast. And with the darker one, I'm going to put this into one of these ring moulds. And I'm going to build that up all the way around till it gets to the top. I'm really loving these little coffee stirrers and they're so cheap. You buy a thousand for next to nothing and they're great for intricate work like this. Well, now I've got that in there. Push that down again to make sure it's nice and all the way down. And then I'm going to fill that up with a little bit more resin, the UV resin. And then again, I'll probably do a couple more. I've prepped a few already and I've used different colours. I can't, I have no idea what colours they are because unfortunately I never got anyone to write on the bags what colours they are. But there we go, never mind, it'll be a nice surprise. I've left a gap in that one. I've put some glitter in there, some stars as you can see. This one I've just done wiggly woggly and this one I'm also going to put something around that. I'm going to use the contrast here of the oval and a square. Now these little gems, because they're really cheap little gems, they will, they'll cure in resin really well, but they won't keep their faceted look to them. I so want to put a red star in between each one of those. I <laughs> just love sparkle, as you know. It might be overkill, it might be gilding the lily, and you know me. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I really like that. I think that looks very, very pretty. And for this one, what I'm going to do is fill these little gaps up with some resin and then cure these up and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. That layer's all dry now and what I'm going to do is add some just normal nail polish with a little bit of glitter in it into these center pieces here like that. Let that dry and that way it's going to add a little bit of glitter to it and make it look really pretty. And that won't take long to dry. I'll stick that in my curing machine for about five minutes and then that nail polish will be completely dry, ready for me to do the next stage. And this is an experiment after all, so we can play around with experiments to see what happens. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee. If you'd like to get me a coffee, then the links for that are in the description below. And thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. Membership is also in the description below. Well, the nail varnish is all nice and dry now, and I'm really into using nail varnish with resin. It comes out beautiful. I mean, look at the colours and the metallic look that you've got there. I did a video where I painted it into a mould, and I was so surprised by the results for that. So check that video out. I'll link that at the end. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Now that's dry, all I need to do is fill these up with the UV resin. I'm going to fill these up to the top because I will dome these separately. Now, I will leave that to sit for about three or four minutes before I cure these up, purely to allow it to release any of the bubbles that may have got in there. Then I'll go over this UV resin with my lighter like this, pop those bubbles, although some bubbles look nice and they actually reflect uh, the light slightly differently. So you may want to leave them in. And now what I will do is I will allow that to cure up for about five minutes. Well, these are all cured up now they always go really nice and hard and that's the beauty of this J Diction resin now I've obviously been a bit messy with this so I need to tidy these up a little bit before I dome them and that's no problem at all all I need to do is go round with my scissors and trim off any bit that I don't think should be there that's where I've poured it over the top of the mold and I think that one's okay and so far, I think these have come out much prettier than I thought they would. Especially that one. I think that one's really come out well. But the proof will be once we finish doming them. Now, I dome things exactly the same way using UV resin as I would using a normal epoxy resin. I put a lovely thick colour coat on. If you fill up the little hole, it's not a major issue. You can go through it with a drill. One of the little portable hand drills that you can get hold of. Very, very cheap cheap in fact one comes in my kit if you're interested in that and i will link my kit at the end of this video and look how lovely that nail varnish came out i am so into nail varnish at the moment i'm, I'm loving it. i'm gonna get myself some different ones because the ones i've got at the moment are the cheapest ones i could possibly buy i should have done this on my leveling table really because this is not very level my workbench i love my new leveling tables so much and I will dome both sides, not just the tops, but also the bottoms. We'll give that a minute or two. Okay, it's had a minute or two now. Um, go over, pop any bubbles that have come up to the top using my long neck lighter. I'll cure those up. Then once they're cured, I will then go over them again with the backs and then I'll show you what everything looks like finished. Before we make the pendants up, I want to see what the rings have turned out like. Oh no, they've not come out very well at all, I don't think. Maybe I tried to cram in too much. Oh, that one's not too bad, but there is still some gaps in there and you would need to do some work to them. It's a shame because from that side where the faceted bit is, they've come out really well. These are all finished and I absolutely love them. Disappointed with the rings, but... Not everything can work out, I suppose. These, I think, have really come out beautiful. And they're different. That's what I always like about trying something new, is doing something different. Backs have come out quite neat. My favourite ones are the ones with the nail polish in, or the nail varnish. That really has set that off lovely. And the normal squiggly wiggly one. That's come out really well, and that could be worn either way with the nail varnish in. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you tried this already, I'd really be interested to know what you think think. I love testing out new things so make sure you subscribe to my channel because that way you won't miss out when I do lots of different experiments and tutorials. Please boot that like button it really helps my videos to get out there. I use the UV resin by J Diction which is without a doubt the best UV resin I have ever used and that is why I like using it. Look how lovely and hard these have all cured up and look let me show you 
Not a bit of stickiness on there at all. It won't even leave a fingerprint, which is so unlike me. Be sure to check out the video that I've got coming up next. It is on the nail varnish. If you haven't already seen it, using it on moulds and the effect that it gives. Take care. Enjoy your resin. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. I look forward to reading your comments about it. Bye.